Hi, my name is Tina Le Bondi. I'm a fashion designer based in London. You're watching Face to Face. I started the Tina Le Bondi brand about five years ago in London. Um, the reason why I really wanted to have my own brand and, um, and fashion line was mainly because it's what I studied uh, at school, both in France and the UK. Um, but it's just, you know, I just wanted to be able to, um, to showcase my passion and the design that I've been creating for so long. I would describe the style of my clothing um, as very chic and glamorous and um, obviously it has a lot of African influence, um, hopefully Congolese, but um, I think it caters for most, uh, for most people. So it's not just, you know, African or European, but it's really truly like a mix of cultures. To me, it's not really about adding or not adding uh, an African um, look to my collections, but it's mainly just to, you know, to be able to express where I come from and to, to be able to showcase the prints that I like. So actually in the beginning it wasn't at all about being African um, because I was just using the material as material and, uh, and nothing else. Actually for the new collection we are, I'm collaborating with um, a print designer who's going to be very much involved with the brand um, for the coming collections. So, you know, his, his brand is made by Oz uh, and I hope people will uh, enjoy that collaboration and hopefully there'll be more um, for next year. I've been very lucky to be uh, approached by, you know, um, international press, so not just UK. Um, and, you know, the, the main thing that they usually ask us is, you know, if we can, if we'll be interested in being featured uh, in the press or, you know, sometimes we meet them after the shows, such as, you know, Marie Claire, they um, attend all the Mercedes-Benz Fashion Weeks in South Africa, so um, it's common that they just come backstage to, you know, to pick up the items that they love. So um, it's really nice to be able to, to have that relationship with the, you know, these publications and to also be able to reach out to more people through them. I started uh, the association SMB um, about a year ago and uh, my goal was mainly to promote education um, for young children in Congo. And uh, so at the moment we are developing the program that we'll be conducting from October this year in Kinshasa. Uh, we'll be starting with workshops for people interested in the art industry, so fashion, photography and more because there's so many different areas. And, uh, and also we are working on something for street children of Kinshasa, uh, which we will launch uh, in the coming weeks. Um, but it sh you know it would be um, something really interesting. I don't want to say too much, um, but basically, Simbi will be a tool to promote education and apprenticeship uh, within the Congolese um, community. How does Simbi work? With the motto "Inspire, Empower, Achieve," Simbi will provide a platform to assist young and talented adults in forging successful careers. We are a social enterprise with the aims of helping the youth secure a future starting in the UK and expanding to the Congo in the near future. One of the big challenges is not only getting them off the street, but staying in education and following through to a job. So we are teaming up with Malaika and Educate Congo to get the youth into school with the help of Regia. We've been very lucky since uh, we started the CMB because we had, uh, for example, um, the actress Tandy Newton wearing our, our clothing line and just, you know, um, promoting the CMB, um, you know, journey and experience and what we're trying to stand for. And uh, so that's been really, really helpful. And we're just trying to do more of that and promote, um, you know, the, the organization through social media and also uh, in the press. Um, but what matters the most uh, for us in the coming months would be um, the programs that we'll be doing for these kids and, uh, and to make sure that, you know, um, we have results and, uh, we, you know, we, we create um, not just opportunities, but also uh, employments at the same time. We are on most uh, social media platforms such as Twitter, uh, Instagram and Facebook 
and, uh, and of course people can see the collection on their website which is uh, tinalabondi.com and uh, yeah so it's you know the name is the same is at Tina Labondi. follow us and see you know what we'll be up to in the coming month and the new collection.